Hey guys, so yes, that's the that's the end of, and that was the final episode of that Darkest Dungeon series and um it's been a great ride and as always thank you to those who have been watching some part or all of it all the way up to the end. Um my plan for Darkest Dungeon at the moment seems to be a game that I do really enjoy and it's a game that I can sort of just it, it really appeals to me all part of it in terms of the in terms of management and turn based strategy and things like that and I certainly do want to play through the new game plus edition. However, one thing one thing one thing that must be kept in mind is that the there is a new DLC coming out in early 2017 and given that at least this Darkest Dungeon run, it actually had some DLC which was introduced in the middle of it, like the like the DLC that introduced like the the, the um the village raid bit, and so and the antiquarian as well. So that kind of like screwed up my run a little bit. So the plan is at the moment is to not play Darkest Dungeon until the until the the, the Crimson Court DLC is released in early 2017, and then I will walk, I will jump into New Game Plus. And, um, and for the meantime, I will sort of just try and clear out some other games in my Steam backlog. So, at the moment, I've been playing through the Sniper Elite 3 campaign because I just... I've always enjoyed being a sniper, and, um, and so I've, I've already got some videos recorded and sort of... And, um, yet to be uploaded, but will be scheduled to fill in the busy slots for the time being. And, of course, I'm looking forward to sort of just clearing out a few more games out of my Steam... Steam, uh, library, and, and but of course... That's just not to say Darkest Dungeon's not going away, it's just obviously on a temporary hi hiatus at the moment. I'm also aware of a Pitch Black Dungeon mod, which is, at the moment, it might be a little bit too much for me, and part is partially because, um... What I enjoy in Darkest Dungeon is sort of the strategy, and not so much the discovery. Some people have noticed there were there were parts where it seems like, oh, you know, I'm probably looking up the wiki, or like, I, I just didn't have full knowledge of the game, and... I'll, I'll be honest, yes, I did look up a wiki for most of it, and, um, and, uh, I, I, be, be honest, I, there's no particular shame in, in doing so, and mainly because, like, ma mainly because that's just how I want to enjoy the game, and, of course, uh, I feel that, um, you know, it's, other people shouldn't be faulted for, you know, at least looking up the wiki for some part of it, because, even with the wiki, there's still a degree of strategy in both the, the management of people, resources and then um especially clearing out the diseases and quirks and things like that which is definitely what i enjoy most about darkest dungeon what i i really don't enjoy the discovery aspect so much mainly because it's it's kind of a it, um at first it's fun but if you have to keep discovering the whole way through sometimes it gets a bit tiring and it, it, it prolongs the gameplay more than it should and certainly darkest dungeon has received a fair amount of flack for sort of just just the end game being seemingly unnecessarily long and part of it is also the discovery aspect of it so that, and that for me is something that I don't partic particularly enjoy about the game. So yeah that's the plan waiting until the latest the, the Crimson Court DLC is released in early 2017 in which I will probably or or at least that's the plan for now we'll jump into Darkest Dungeon New Game Plus but until then as always Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you on the next whichever video that you may choose to watch next.